it's a solid season of television. The ending, I could have went with something different, but it was solid. Hello, welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm yours, Khalil Ward. On this episode, I'll be talking about Spider-Man, the animated series, season two. This is the 90s Spider-Man that I grew up with. This is 14 episodes. Season one ended with you know, S.H.I.E.L.D. and the Chameleon and everything, and we kick off season two on a high note. Like, it, season two opens up crazy. Spider-Man, his powers are going in and out. Kingpin releases the Sinister Six, and they go to capture Spider-Man, and they realize, like, yo, this is not Spider-Man. It's Peter Parker. He ain't got no powers. He would have been whipping our butts. Oh, excuse me. They're the Insidious Six in this. Eventually, Spider-Man's powers come back and, you know, he does this thing, you know, get them to fight each other. But then Spider-Man is like, something is going wrong. You know, something is wrong. I, I might have this mutation. Let me go seek out Professor X. And we get the X-Men and it's like, I love this show. Just like I, I love the X-Men cartoon, but just the fact that Spider-Man travels to see Professor X and the X-Men, but they don't really do anything in terms of like, X-Men, like, they, we get two episodes with them. Beast is eventually captured. Wolverine and Spider-Man have their little tussle, you know, for a little bit before they start working together. And then people are like, yo, Spider-Man, you're cool. Uh, but I would have loved some more episodes with them because it's, it's cool. Uh, we do get Man-Spider. He does transform and turn into the Man-Spider. So then we get Punisher. Punisher comes in and I always just like how he's like, Battle Van, do this. And the van it just has all these things that it can do. And, you know, he he takes on Spider-Man. Craven comes back to kind of help Spider-Man because they don't want Punisher to, to kill him. And it was cool seeing that. We get Morbius. Uh, we get Blade. And I forgot about Blade, but Blade was in this and it was really cool. Just Spider-Man working with all these different people. And it's only season two. And it's like, this is so much fun watching this. And I would say... The last few episodes were not as strong because it was focused on Adrian Toomes, a.k.a. the Vulture, and this tablet and him basically trying to get younger. Everybody was trying to get younger. Silverman, he's really old. He was trying to get younger. Vulture, he's older. He's trying to get younger. And everybody keeps trying to master this tablet and everything. At one point, he takes Spider-Man's power. So he's like really youthful and agile and Spider-Man's old. And it was funny that as an old man, he comes across Aunt May and helps her out and everything you know and then he has to figure out how he can get his powers back and vulture keeps transforming into like a spider because he took the essence of spider-man and spider-man still had that mutation so it kept going into vulture so he'll be super young and then he'll have he'll be like a spider so it was okay but for four episodes i would have cut that down to like three two episodes and gave me more x-men in this particular season but it's still a good season of television. The animation is still solid. The characters are still solid. We, we see a lot of different people that's gonna come into play later on in the, in the other seasons. Uh, but it was enjoyable. I don't know if it's as enjoyable as season one because we got Venom early on in that, but still season two of Spider-Man, the animated series is a solid watch. You should definitely check it out on Disney+. Plus. Those are just my thoughts on Spider-Man. If you watched the show growing up, let me know some of your favorite moments from season two. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening.